Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do another tutorial. I'm going to try to catch up with my tutorials. I've got so many that I want to do, and I'm so far behind since I've been sick. That, But we're going to try to catch up. We're going to make some butterflies today. If you've ever seen my title in all of my groups, I love butterflies. That is my favorite little animal, and I know you can't call it an animal, little insect that there is out there. I absolutely love them. So I have lots of really thin paper and a lot of thin one-sided uh, design paper. It has to be a thin cardstock. It can't be anything thick or you won't be able to fold it. This is another little origami fold, but it has to be pretty thin. This is just a really thin, cheap paper that I got a long, long time ago. And then this is just some uh, thin paper from Walmart. It's just one of those uh, printer papers, I guess, in color. So I have cut mine down to six by six, but you can make any size that you want. You can make a 12 by 12 if you want. You're just gonna have a really big butterfly. You can make a two by two if you can fold it that little, four by four, as long as it's the same size, as long as it's square. So let me drag some in here and show you what I've done. And these are still a little bit wet. I put stickles and things on them. They're still a little bit wet, but this will give you an idea of the butterflies. Let me hold this one up. This is just made out of a scrap paper. And this is just one of our Wink of Stella in blue that I put around through there. Put little dots on it. You can go ahead with some little wire or something and put some little antennas on there. I'll probably do that later. I didn't do it right now because I wanted to get a, quite a few of them made. I may be using these in Texas at our classes. So there is one, just a, an old piece of cardstock with a little bit of stickles around the edges. They're very, very simple to make. This is just some of that red paper with some stickles on there, a little bit of ink. So let's make a few of these and I'm gonna show you how easy they are. They're wonderful for decorating. And like I said, you can make these as big as you want. This is a six by six square paper, and you're going to start by folding it at the triangle. So fold it that way, open it back up, and then fold it just the opposite. Okay, and then you're going to fold it like this, just side to side. Try to get your folds as even as possible. That just helps in the end. All right, and then you're going to fold it that way. So you have folded it the triangle way, both ways, and then you just open it back up and fold it over on itself that way, then fold it over on itself that way. Okay. Now you need to open it back up and on, it doesn't matter which side, since it's perfectly square, but I just take on these two little lines right here, just gotta push them in and bring these up. The first time you do it, it they're gonna be a little bit stubborn. Fold those down, making sure that your points come together. So that, you see what we did? I just pushed these sides in and then brought those together forming our little pyramid. Well, I can't hold on to the paper. Forming our little triangle pyramid. There's our triangle. Okay. Now, when you, while you have it folded that way, you want to fold it again in the middle. And then where your ends come together, right here, and they're loose, not on this side. This is your fold, and this is your other little fold and point. So it's going to be on the loose end, where all of them are loose. You're going to take your scissors, and you're just going to cut a round, just a little round piece off of there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how big or how small. Just kind of make it look pretty. So that's about what I cut off right there. Just a little round part. Round that off. Then open it back up. 
with these round parts at the top, take that first layer, as you see you've got two layers on either side, take that first layer and fold it in to that middle score line. Then take the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so see, that's what we've got right there. Got that folded in there and that folded in there. All right, and then you're going to take this point right here down at the bottom, flip it over, pull that point up, making sure that it goes right in line with that score line, keeping it in the center. Bring about that much over. Let's see if you can see that. About that much over, and then fold it over. Fold it over just like that, and then kind of crease it. Take your finger and put in there and just kind of crease it. Now, a lot of them will stay together if you just do that, but I put a little dot of hot glue under there because I had a couple a while ago that wanted to go flying through the air. See, like that one just did. So I just opened that up and put me a little dollop of hot glue right under there, just a tiny bit and then fold it down. That way I know that's going to hold because I'm going to be moving mine around and using them over and over and that kind of thing. Get a little hot glue where you don't want it. You remember our tool here. Just take that tool and start spinning it around and it'll pull that hot glue right off of there. Okay. So there, basically, is your butterfly. And now it's just a matter of decorating it. So at this point, you can ink or you can use your stickles on here. You can do just about anything that you want to. If you want to put little bling on here, that would be really cute. Um, I think, I think I'll just use my ice stickles and go around it again and not I'm not gonna ink this one I did ink the other ones but I'm not gonna ink this one I'm just gonna I want the purple to show through so I'm just gonna put some stickles on there run the stickles right around the edge all right so how cute is that is that not adorable? It's very, very simple to make. Uh, I've made quite a few of them. I think it's took me maybe 10 minutes to make quite a few. So I think I made four or five, like 10 minutes. So there you go. There is your butterflies. I think they're so cute. I can't wait to put them all over my craft room. I saw a photo uh, where someone had made them and they put them all across their door like they were flying different sizes. She made some small ones and some big ones. I cannot wait to use these. And it's a way that I can use up a lot of my paper that I've been just hoarding because I really, it was thin and I really didn't want to use it on anything else. So this is a way that I can use it up and make it really, really gorgeous. Okay, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And when that little bell pops up, click on that little bell so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And please don't forget that we'll be in Fort Worth, Texas on um, March the 15th, 16th, and 17th with May May from May May Made It at the Made It Con. And we would love to meet you there. We're going to have a meet and greet that's absolutely free. You don't have to pay to come to that. You can come and meet us, talk to us, ask us questions. And there's going to be lots and lots of artists there. Uh, Brutus Monroe, Chris Rowland's going to be there. Uh, the Art Sherpa, uh, Cinnamon Cooney, she's going to be there. Uh, let's see. Genevieve, it's going to be there from Genevieve Designs, I think is her name. Uh, me, May May, 
there's going to be just tons of artists there so we would love to have you come out if you can take our classes then go down below click on the link it'll take you directly over to the classes we do have a few seats left i think the make it go round is completely sold out there's some of the classes that are sold out but we still have a few available go over and click on those and uh, we would love to have you take one of our classes we're going to have lots and lots of giveaways lots of drawing have lots of fun in our classes and we will talk to you guys later bye bye